go, go, go now! Time has never been as precious as this moment. Your bird escaped, and it's getting more and more dangerous by the second. How to catch an escape budgie? This video is very important to be watched now, because if your budgie escapes, there's no time to watch the video, you want to act as quickly and efficiently as you can. To demonstrate what happens when your budgie escapes, first off, I budgie proofed my home. I'll keep a link in the description on how to bird proof your house. And second, I've chosen a budgie that is level 1 on the FPFCT bonding scale. If you don't know what is your budgie bonding level, make sure to watch the taming video first, which I will also leave a link in the description. If your budgie tamed level between 0 and 3, then we treat them the same. Of course, the more levels you have, the easier it is, but until level 3, if your budgie escapes, you have to deal with the worst case scenario, where your budgie doesn't want to come to you. And also, if you have a higher level than level 3 on the FPFCT scale, then the steps you have to take here should work even easier on your budgie. Let's understand how the budgie mind works in order for us to be able to catch it easier. As you can see, I've put a timer and let my level 1 tamed budgie go out of the cage. This is where I put him for about a month. It's a new place for him and he has never been outside his cage at this place. The first thing you can see is that the budgie is not comfortable to go away from his cage because he knows here is the safest place. It is his home and where he eats and drinks. Which basically means if he escapes his cage outside your house in the first minutes or maybe even hour or two he's not gonna fly as far as you might think. What he would probably do is find a high tree to perch on, so he feels safe outside. At the moment you found out your budgie escaped, your heart is beating out of your chest. You are so afraid you don't know what would happen to your budgie. And you are rightfully so. Budgies are really captive birds and probably they won't survive as long as other birds in the wild. And that is because, first, they might not be as good flyers as other birds, and second, they stand out between other birds because of their beautiful colors and predators would easily find them. And third, budgies are seed eaters, which means they look for food on the ground, and that is very hard to accomplish in the city where all pedestrians and cars are moving 24-7. But the good news is, your budgie is not happy about that either. Believe it or not, he wants to come back home more than you do. Now since there are no interruptions and nothing to be afraid of, look how long it took my budgie to come back home all by himself to his cage. He went out, checked everything and came back home. But here's the thing, let's see how long does it take my budgie the second time he's out of the cage, and how much time he spends on other budgie's cages, even though I have budgie seeds all over the floor. While we wait to see how long does it take him to go back, Let's see how to bring our escaped budgie back home. The second you notice he is missing, you want to make sure that he is outside your house, 
How did he escape? Was all windows and doors closed? Because if he escaped inside your home, at some point he should be hungry and come back to his cage. That is, if your house is budget proof. But if you are sure he's somewhere outside, that's when you are running out of time. Every second passing, your chance of finding your budgie is getting drastically lower. Usually when they first take off and they don't know anything around, as I've said they would be somewhere around your house hiding. You don't want to scare him away, rather you want to lure him in. Parakeets are clever birds and you should use that to your advantage. Before your bird gets lost, you want to show him the way back, so it's best to put his cage outside your house, because he knows his cage pretty well and he knows he's safe there. If you have other budgies, then that's even better, because as they chirp in the cage outside, he will know where they are and come back to his friends at some point. If you don't have other budgies, I have a video of budgies chirping. You could have a speaker next to his cage playing the budgie sounds and it could also encourage your current birds to chirp as well if they aren't chirping. I'll keep the link in the description. Make sure to like that video or save it somewhere so in the worst case scenario you have it up and ready. While your lost bird might not come instantly, but he might start chirping back to the budgie sounds and uncover his location for you to find him. Try to put treats your bird likes inside the cage to make it even more enticing for him to come back. Stay away from the cage if your budgie isn't tamed. At any moment he comes back you want to approach the cage slowly, especially if he didn't get in and put it back inside the house, him with the cage. Then you can worry about catching him when he's already secured inside your house. Couple of things to be aware of. If it is cold and you have budgies inside the cage that is outside, you don't want to harm the budgies you already have when you are trying to bring the escaped one. Make sure it is not the harming weather if you want to put your budgies in the cage outside. And also, if you know there are predators in your area like falcons and owls, you need to keep a close eye all the time. And last thing, don't give up easily and keep looking. Our budgies are pet birds, so they aren't that good when it comes to flight, speed and maneuver. You want to try and find your budgie ASAP. If you know any neighbors that own budgies, you can go and ask them if he landed there. You can announce your budgie is missing and more often than not, people that own birds will find him. At the end of the day, I don't want you to be worried as budgies would most likely survive because they are used to people and they have a high chance that they would land on other bird owners cages and he probably would catch your bird. I just want you to be ready if it ever happens and act quickly. Let's see how much time does it take him to come back home for the second time. As you can see, the second time I let him out of the cage, it took him about 10 minutes to come back, because he got more comfortable and started to know the area. What I'm trying to say, your budgie is not comfortable when he escapes, and he is looking forward to come back home. So don't give up on him and lure him back in with budgie sounds, treats and his own cage which is his home. And if it has passed more than 2 hours searching for your bird, you might play the budgie sounds and try to look further away from your home. Announce he's missing among all vets you know and ask any pet owners if they have seen him. 
Maybe you can ask a Facebook group that is dedicated for finding escape budgies. Good luck and have a beautiful budgie weekend. For more about budgies, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you are watching this video from YouTube and hit the bell icon to get notified when the next video is up. Or like the Facebook page if you are watching this video from Facebook.